Hello there and uh, welcome to Spotlight, uh, looking at all the various things that are going on across the church at the moment, some news, thoughts, ideas. Um, so one thing to talk about is we're just about to come into a new series. We're looking all year at going deep with Jesus, going wide um, with the gospel. And uh, we're looking at a, a sort of depth idea, I suppose, and, and the width of the love of God, <clears throat> looking at worship. And uh, we've, we've taken some inspiration from Spring Harvest this year, where they uh, did a whole uh, whole week on exploring worship and studying the Bible, worshipping, studying different ways of worship. And so we're going to take some of their material and go through four weeks where we look at the unrivaled God uh, as we give ourselves to him. We're going to explore what it means to uh, worship on our own, in our own hearts, in our own mind, in our own daily rhythm. What does worship look like for an individual? Uh, we're going to explore what worship is like when a group of people comes together. And it's like when we sing or when we uh, we pray with one another, those kind of classic worship moments. What happens then? What's so important about that? We're going to look as well at um, worship in the everyday, not about singing, not necessarily about praying, but just about giving our hearts to God in what we do in our work or with our families, with our friends, or with the skills and gifts we've got. Somehow worshipping God because we are human beings. So we're going to explore all that in the next few weeks. That hopefully is going to get us set up for coming together in a brand new way. Well, uh, new in kind of 18 months, kind of new because we wanna be able to come together to worship together, to express our praise for God together. Fourth of July is the plan. The idea at the moment is we're outside uh, at the crossing, because there's a fantastic field there. And uh, we, we come with our families, all ages. We, we manage to get there. We, we, we'll do it as safely as possible within uh, the right rules, regulations, but we're trusting at the moment that we're able to be there. We're able to sing together um in a wonderful way it's going to be brilliant and then uh, what we're going to do in the next few weeks is just look and, and explore explain what the steps will be after that in terms of coming back into our buildings worshiping together uh, again just watching what the government says but wanting to um uh, refine one another uh, in our congregations in our local church families so from the uh, 11th of July, we're going to be looking at that. So loads more news to come, details to come about that. So check your emails, spotlight, Sundays, all that sort of thing. But 4th of July, put it in your diary. Our friends over at the Beacon Church in Stafford are putting on a monthly event called Love Your Global Neighbour, where they explore creation care, which is caring for our planet and the discipleship and mission around that. Um, this month is happening tonight on the 20th of May at 7.30 p.m. on Zoom, and you can join them, and it's got special guests that we know at Rising Brook Community Church. So here's Martin and Justine to tell you a little bit more about what's happening. Hi, now I know that some of you have heard of Umbedza because you've been to a fundraising barbecue or a bonfire in the garden behind me here, although not recently. But if you haven't heard of Umbedza, we're a small international charity based right here in Stafford, bringing good news to the poor in rural Malawi. Malawi is one of those countries that didn't cause climate change, but is certainly feeling its effects. The rainfall patterns are changing, flooding is getting heavier, crops get ruined and people go hungry. Added to that, there's a deforestation crisis. Most people don't have gas or electricity, so they cook by burning wood, on the ground, in the open air. That uses loads of firewood, so trees are disappearing fast. And Bedza works to help with this in two ways. Firstly, by providing efficient stoves that burn a lot less wood than an open fire. So protecting the trees better that are already growing. But secondly, by planting more trees. Here's a short clip about a current project in a school introduced by Nina, who you may have met when she visited us a couple of years ago. Uh, today we are planting trees at Songan Playmore School. We first started with our trainings in December last year, 2020. So we did uh, tree nursery training and thereafter we did the, the, the woodlot training and we managed to, to plant some seeds. It has done well and right now we are planting trees and I'm happy that the students as well as the teachers are well involved. 
On Thursday, we'll look more closely at both these kinds of projects, efficient stoves and tree planting. We'll see how they not only reduce poverty, but also provide an opportunity for us to mitigate or offset some of the carbon footprint associated with our own lifestyles. So do join us as we explore bringing justice to God's world. Hi, I'm Justine Chesler. I'm going to tell you a little bit about a talk tomorrow evening. Nigel Evans from Roots Larder in Stafford is going to be doing a talk on plastic free shopping. He'll be telling you how to make plastic free swaps at home. He'll also be talking to you about recycling. Last week we had Pete Gilbert with us and um, it was really good to have that time in church gathering, in leaders gatherings and on Sunday to um, listen to what Pete brought us and to just really take some time to reflect on what God uh, might be saying to us. Um, lots there for us to think about. Now, if you weren't able to be with us, um, then uh, obviously the Sunday service is on YouTube and so you'll be able to watch again on there. But if you weren't able to be with us for the church gathering or the, some of the other leaders gatherings um, and you would like to listen to that, then it is possible to get a link to listen to the Zoom, um, but uh, it's not available on YouTube. Um, so uh, you'll need to email into Hannah at church at risingbrook.org and she will give you a link so that you can catch up on things that you weren't able to make.